Well, hello folks, Grandpa Cavendish here. On a Thursday afternoon. Sitting in the old rocket chair in the back here. Smoking the Missouri Meerschaum. Look at what shape this is. Uh, the legend, maybe? Gawath Hogarth's Ennerdale Flake. And I had reviewed this tobacco about six months ago, I think. And I uh, haven't smoked it in a long time. So I, I thought it was time to break it out again. And um, if you saw my first video, which was a, not the first video, but the first uh, video on this particular tobacco, um, I talked about it as being tranquility in a pipe. And uh, I said that because I find this to be a very, very relaxing smoke. Um, it's also a very flavorful one in that it's a Lakeland tobacco and it's got that Lakeland essence going on. And in the earlier video, I mentioned it being very almond or marzipan flavoring tasting. That's totally gone now. <laughs> uh, I've stored it in this jar. So it's been well preserved. But it's lost that almond flavor completely. And now I'm just tasting the, the vanilla, caramel, and the citrusy elements. Orange type flavor. And I think that's predominantly due to the tonkin. This has tonkin bean in it. And for what I understand, that's contributed, that contributes that vanilla-ish type taste, citrusy taste, maybe. Still has a bit of that floral character, uh, but not nearly as much as earlier. So this has changed a lot over the six months or so that I've had it in the jar. It doesn't taste as sweet now. You still get really good Virginia flavor. That's its main component, Virginia tobaccos. Uh, but it, it's not nearly as strong in the essence now. But it's still very relaxing. There's no question about that. This is, this is a tobacco if you want to just kick back in your rocking chair and contemplate, uh, the meaning of life. <laughs> I think this is ideal for that. <laughs> so it, uh, it re that quality remains, but the flavor is totally different. So, still very good, just different. It's really a delightful blend. So if you've not tried this, uh, get yourself a tin. It's worth a try. Even if you're not a big fan of these Lakeland tobaccos. I think this is a really good one. So I just thought I'd make a video today. It's been a while. It's been uh, at least six weeks, I think. 
Sorry I was due. I don't know, I just wasn't in the mood to make a video <laughs> for whatever reason. Didn't have anything to say. <laughs> I guess that's it. But uh, I thought this was worthy of a note. Kind of a part two, you might say, on the Ennerdale Flake. Ennerdale Flake Revisited. How about that? I don't know if you can hear those turns out there, but we've been uh, loaded with turns. They're all over these boats that are out here, and uh, they're, they're feeding all the time. There's big schools of fish that have come in here now. Uh, small bait fish and, and bigger fish that are feeding on them. Uh, but the, the birds are having a feast every day they're out here. There's cormorants out here now, I see, that are diving down. And, and picking out fish. So it certainly is a relaxing spot. Relaxing tobacco, relaxing spot. Can't beat it, right? <laughs> What's not to love about that? So let me just give you a view. You can see where I'm at. So hope everybody's doing well, and um, hope you had a great summer, and look forward to watching more of your videos now that the uh, fall is on its way. We can maybe break out some nice uh, fall type tobaccos, having a cup of tea here. Goes great with this tobacco, British tea, that's Yorkshire Red, it's a loose tobacco. Loose tobacco, loose tea, and it's uh, quite delicious. Goes great with this. Perfect combination. So uh, take care, everybody. I hope you're having a great day, and we'll be seeing you again soon. Grandpa Cavendish signing off. Have a great day. <laughs>